Tiffany smiled as she walked into the coffee shop. Morning, Millie, she said. Hey, Tiff, how was the weekend? Millie asked. Boring as usual, Tiffany sighed as she sat in her favorite spot by the window. The usual, Millie asked. Yep, Tiffany answered, her head buried in the New York Post. Fifteen minutes later, Eric walked in and proceeded to his favorite spot. Good morning, Mr. Roberts, Millie shouted from across the room. Good morning, Mildred, he responded promptly burying his head in his New York Times. The usual, Mr. Roberts, Millie queried. Please, Eric responded absent-mindedly. Eric looked across the room at Tiffany. God, he thought, she is so beautiful. He came to this coffee shop just to look at her. He liked to arrive before her so he could watch her walk. She walked with an air of confidence. Her full hips and well-rounded bottom had caught his eye, her sparkling eyes and the way she laughed, a deep laugh that kept his attention. Tiffany was well aware of Eric's presence. He was very cute and a bit stuffy, but very cute. A guy like that wouldn't be interested in me, she thought quietly, as Millie brought her usual, OJ, buttered bagel, and a coffee. She liked her coffee light and sweet, and Millie always made sure that she had lots of cream and sugar. Thank you, Mildred, Eric stated crisply. His usual was grapefruit juice, whole wheat bagel, lightly toasted, coffee, decaffeinated, black. His eyes lingered on Tiffany as she poured the cream into her coffee. A woman like that isn't interested in a man like me, he laminated. The next day, Tiffany arrived at the coffee shop at her usual time. She looked around and sat down with a disappointed sigh when she didn't see Eric. The usual, Tiff? Millie called. Yeah, she replied. The usual. Tiffany wanted to see Eric, especially after the dream she had last night. Let's just say he had taught her 101 things to do with her tongue. Her body shivered as she recalled the very exotic dream. Eric's tram had been late that morning. He watched Tiffany as she left the shop and walked up the street. He smiled. The sight of her made him feel like a schoolboy. The usual, Mr. Robert? Millie asked as he walked in the coffee shop. Yes, the usual, he said with a silly grin on his face. Interesting, Millie thought to herself. Eric arrived first the following day. When Tiffany arrived, he looked up nodded and continued to read his New York Times. Damn, he thought, grow some balls, say something. He opened his mouth, but no words came out. Tiffany sat down, forget the dream, this is reality. He's not interested in you, move on, she said to herself. Tiffany began to read her New York Post. The usual, Millie asked softly, noting the downcast look on Tiffany's face. Tiffany nodded not trusting herself to speak. Neither one noticed as Millie quietly served them their breakfast. Tiffany lowered her newspaper, slowly drank her OJ, and stared into space. She reached for the sugar and cream. They weren't on the table. Millie, you forgot the sugar and cream, she called out. Millie was nowhere to be found. Only she and her dream man were in the room. She closed her eyes, exasperated. When she opened her eyes, he was standing in front of her smiling. Hi there, he said in a very deep masculine voice. I seem to have your cream and perhaps your sugar too. Tiffany looked at him and laughed a deep laugh. How sweet of you, she responded playfully. Please sit down, my name is Tiffany. I know, Eric responded. I'm Eric and I'm very sweet. Millie smiled as she watched them from the back. Sometimes, all a good love connection needs is a little helping hand and some sugar and spice.